Unlike many other sectors of business, banking has historically been resistant to disruption by technology. This resistance is in part due to banking's multiple economic moats, unique expertise, special status as regulated institutions that supply credit, as well as their sovereign insurance for liabilities. Additionally, banking's resistance to technology disruption stems from its customers, who are slow to change financial services providers, and who gravitate toward established and enduring brands in banking. The last period of significant technological disruption was driven by the rise of commercial internet and the dot-com boom. During this time, more than 450 attackers challenged incumbent banks. To show just how resilient the banks are, only five of the original 450 challengers are surviving as standalone entities today. However, this historic resilience may be waning. The decreasing costs of computing and the rapid pace of innovation go hand in hand with increasing customer expectations for more transparent, contextual, and integrative solutions. Consumers now desire more connectedness, automated processes, and sophisticated analytics. This new era of banking places unprecedented demands on IT functions, requiring fundamental and far-reaching changes in everything from infrastructure to operating models to talent. Additionally, industry barriers are becoming blurred, so banks are competing not only with those from other industries, but also with numerous fintechs. Fintechs are companies that use technology to conduct fundamental financial services, affecting how consumers store, save, borrow, invest, move, pay, and protect money. In 2015, a proprietary Panorama Fintech database tracked 800 fintech startups globally. Now, that number stands at over 2,000. The level of fintech financing is also booming. Globally, over 40 billion U.S. dollars has been deployed to fintechs over the past five years, and this number is growing quickly. With 60% of global banking profits coming from origination and sales, fintech players have an opportunity to gain customers who are becoming more open to financial relationships outside of traditional banks. While the current fintech boom does look different from the dot-com bubble, the failure rate for fintech businesses is still likely to be high. In fact, we are already seeing the first high visibility collapses. Even so, it's likely that a few of the fintechs will break through and build sustainable businesses that may profoundly reshape certain areas of financial services. Without mitigating actions by banks, up to 40% of traditional retail bank revenues could be at risk by 2025. However, Fintechs are also creating a huge opportunity for banks on multiple fronts, and leveraging and exploiting this opportunity will be the key to a successful digital transformation for the industry. The bank of the future will be a digital ecosystem orchestrator, deeply embedded into a client's life. The race to becoming the best at fintegration will become the holy grail for banks.